Today I'm going to show you how I screen print on these small tote bags. And anytime you have a bag or an item that you're screen printing on that has seams or an uneven surface, I wanted to share a little trick on how I screen print on these. So if I um, were just to put my regular screen directly on top, you would see that these seams make it kind of uneven uh, in the area that I want to screen print on. So what I will do um, if I'm screen printing on an, on an uneven surface, if I am using um, just my table, what I will do is I will take just a scrap piece of wood and place it inside. And that kind of raises up the surface that you are going to screen print on. And that way you can avoid these seams. So I could then, I could then just put my screen right on top and you can see that it's nice and smooth right here in the middle where I want to screen print. Um, today though, I'm going to use my press and my press I'm using with <laughs> my DIY um, smaller board uh, that I added and you can check out the tutorial on that. I use this for toddler size shirts, um, but I'm going to slide the bag on here or using the press allows me to um, check the ink and if I missed any spots, I can bring my screen back, back down to add more ink. So I like to use this press as much as possible because it um, has less room for error. So once I've got it in place, one of the keys to screen printing on these uneven surfaces is choosing the right squeegee. This is just your basic nine inch squeegee. If I were to use this, it would be hard to get a good even ink coverage. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit more in the middle and a little bit less on the edges. So the key is finding the right size squeegee for your project. So I'm gonna use this six inch squeegee today. Um, and instead of going this way where it just barely fits, I'm gonna go this way with my screen print so you can see that I can get a nice smooth coverage right here across the middle where I want to put my design. If you don't have the smaller squeegee, um, I would opt for just some kind of scraper tool or something to do on these types of projects rather than using this that doesn't fit and give you a good flat coverage on the surface. So I'm going to speed things up and show you how I screen print on this bag.